Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com. Make sure to go check out Elite Throws Coaching for our blog that we do every single Tuesday in videos that accompany that blog. Just started a real cool one on conjugate training for in-season and off-season throwers. Also to find information about our camps that are coming up next year, ebooks, downloadable videos, online coaching, video analysis, all that good stuff. Make sure EliteThrowsCoaching.com to check all that out. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Nelco Challenger discus. This is their low spin discus. It is the equivalent to, um, you know, some of the like uh, red and blue discs that you see out there. But in my opinion, it is a lot better. We have been using the Nelco discs now for quite some time. I'm in the process of replacing all of my competition and practice discuses that my throwers use on the weekends with Nelco products. Um, a lot of the other ones are getting banged up, they're getting beat up, and uh, just aren't holding up over the years. These are made a lot better. These are made a lot differently, especially the plates and how the plates actually fit into the rim that we are going to uh, be making the switch over to all of these Nelco discs. This has the same plate and the same technology of all of their other discs. So the plates have sort of an internal structure that's going to prevent them from, you know, blowing up when they hit the ground. So that's going to prevent them from breaking or cracking or getting a hole in it when it hits a rock or when it hits a piece of leftover football equipment out on the field. We have been using the low spin and the challengers with my beginner throwers. As you can imagine, they hit the cage all the time. We use chain link um, hammer discus cages here in Rhode Island because we do throw the hammer in high school. So these are not hitting a net. These are hitting chain link fence with metal poles. Um, they are holding up very well. It is freezing, freezing cold up here in New England right now. The ground is solid. When we throw on Sunday mornings with my team, we are throwing onto literally a frozen wasteland, rocky, it's the football practice field, um, essentially is where we're throwing. It's a frozen, solid landing area and these discs are holding up great. Our youth football team, in the town uses that field for their practices. Um, their football all-star practices are going on right now and they leave out their equipment. So we try to move the equipment over into the right sector as far as we possibly can. But anyone who's played football knows when you take any of the sleds, this solid steel, solid metal. We had one of these hit a sled the other day and I thought it was gonna be a disaster. I thought I was gonna find out what the inside of one of these looked like because it was a direct hit and the discus looks really, really good. Um, it just had one little scratch on it. It still it didn't warp the plates. It didn't dent the rim. It didn't put a hole in the discus. It didn't put a hole in the plate or crack the plate right down the middle like some of them do. Um, it is a really, really tough, durable discus. The other thing that I wanna point out that's really cool about these that I didn't say in the last video, and this is the Challenger. Again, this is the entry level, the low spin discus. This is the discus that uh, you know was for your beginner high school, beginner college throwers that are only throwing maybe you know in that 120, 130 foot range. Perfect for them. It does not have that little metal washer that you see on a lot of other discs. Now this is the Challenger. You've got the low spin, which is the 65 meter. Again, does not have the rim. And it's that way all the way up until the end. This is their high end. This is the rim glide, the ultra spin, rated at 78 meters. And this, as you can tell, has the highest rim weight. Look at the size of the rim. And even though it looks like this is a metal washer, like you would see on some other discs, this is actually part of the plastic. It's just a different color. So this is actually just colored plastic this is not show you the front this is not a metal washer like you would see it's actually part of the plate so I know a lot of times that's what happens is these things take a hard landing and that metal washer in the middle that uh, where the bolt goes through starts to kind of mushroom up and kind of turn into a bowl after a while it's not going to happen on these because they don't have the metal washer that's every one of these Nelco di discuses so just want to do a little product review and let you know how things are going with that Challenger. It's a new uh, discus that Nelco just released because they people were asking for something that was a little bit lower rim weight. 
that's what you want to go with if you are using a low rim weight discus or if you want a nice um, inexpensive super high quality discus that's the one to go for it's been holding up excellent with us my throwers love them that's what they always reach for first are the gold plated discuses uh, so make sure to check those out if you are looking for a good disc again it holds up really well it's super tough um, and it doesn't have that little metal washer in the middle that's going to start to mushroom and, and get bent uh, and all that other bad stuff that happens to the other discs that are out there. So that's why we're making the switch over to Nelco. That's why we're going to start carrying Nelco on our website at the turn of the year. And that's why you guys should try them out too. All right. So again, guys, I don't get paid by Nelco. I don't get paid to endorse any of these products. Um, <clears throat> these were sent to me to try out. I fell in love and now I'm going to be buying all my Nelco discs from now on. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching the video. If you guys have any questions on Nelco discuses, leave it in the comment section down below. But make sure to uh, to check it out. Go to EliteThrowsCoaching.com and they'll be up there for sale uh, in the next couple of weeks. All right, guys. Hope you're having a great indoor season. I'll talk to you all real soon.